All right, guys, now that I have your attention with that title, it's time to talk about them some things. And no, this isn't a hate video towards anybody in the title, whether it be Benny, Hotshot Mac, Toad Piglet. Um, it's just drawing attention to uh, what, as well as myself, we do online. We create videos for entertainment and educational purposes. Why am I making this video? Well, it's funny, I saw a comment on, I think it would have been either YouTube or Instagram, under one of Benny's posts, or it was about Benny. And it said something along the lines of, Benny told us how good the trucking industry was. We all got in, we failed, and he's nowhere to be found to help us. And I thought to myself, I said, usually if someone would comment that on one of my posts about me, I would just, you know, blow it off. I just move on. But it started to rub me the wrong way because someone's always told me that you can always open the door for somebody, but you can't make them walk, you know, walk through it. You know, you can lead a, a horse to water, but you can't make them drink it. So what we do here on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it may be, we make content of what we do for educational and entertainment purposes only. I'm not an advisor. He's not an advisor. It's, let's say this, a good side-by-side -side comparison would be you listen to a podcast of a neurosurgeon that says they make $5 million a year. All right, they're talking about their love, their passion, everything and anything about their career, how they got into it, you know, so-and-so, their mother was a neurosurgeon, they wanted to follow in their footsteps, whatever it may be, okay? Say you are like, wow, that's what I want to do in my life. So you go, you go to med school, you get yourself in $200,000 debt, you don't pass. You don't pass your boards or whatever it may be. Do you go back and leave nasty comments or blame that person who produced the podcast or the person that was on the podcast for your failure? No. I get tired of seeing comments of people blaming all their failures on someone else, whether it be in trucking, whether it be in whatever, whatever it may be, I get tired of seeing people blaming their failures on it. And what is failure? I saw it the other day as like first attempt at learning, which sometimes you fail before you figure it out. Not a lot of people succeed on the first try. Now, most of the original people that were making content on, uh, just say on YouTube, are pretty much gone. Gone from the industry. Hotshot Dave's gone, Toad Piglet's gone. Um, and there's not really many people that are out there still doing it. And if they are, they're talking about how hard it is and the, the way the market is and this and that. But most of them aren't getting blamed because when when times were when times were good, you know, fuel was a dollar ninety nine. Rates were when you would get two miles a mile, you were happy. You know, now that fuel's four fifty a gallon, you can't run for anything under three three fifty. But people aren't getting blamed in the past. That's just who's still in the present, in the in the light that people are watching. They want to blame all their problems or failures. You, know, you see people, oh, I invested, you know, $50,000 in a truck and a trailer, and uh, I couldn't even get, you know, going because I didn't realize how expensive insurance would be. Well, their insurance is expensive because they have a bad record, but they want to blame that, you know, the loss of their investment because nobody told them how expensive it would be. Everybody's case is different. 
I just wanted to make a short video that the guys that are still out here, including myself, making content on YouTube, there'll be more that come. There'll be a lot that have tried to do it that have made examples of themselves that they have absolutely no idea what they're doing. But when you see people like you know, Hotshot Mac running securement classes, seeing his setup, seeing what he's doing, how he does it, what he runs, there's a reason he's still doing it. So take that for what it is. I'll let you guys decide who and why and what, why you like somebody. But I give much respect to those guys that are still out there doing, doing it because when I first got into Hotshot, my first research was YouTube and it was before anybody was making videos. The only videos out there on YouTube were Toe Piglet and he hadn't even shown his face yet. And a lot of you probably won't even remember that. But that's it for this video. I'm headed home for the week. I'll see you guys. See you guys.